I'm Lisa, one of the dietetic interns here at Ohio State University. This video is devoted to the benefits of plant proteins. Some plants can be a good source of dietary protein, providing nutritional benefits that you won't find in meat. These plant proteins are what we are talking about today. One great example of plant-based proteins is soybean, which is a complete protein. Let's take a look at tofu, which is a product of soybean curds pressed together. As you can see, this product is high in protein, low in fat, and low in calories. Tofu doesn't have a dominant taste, so it tends to take on the flavors of the marinade or sauce in which it's preparing. My favorite way to eat tofu is roasted after it's been marinated in soy sauce and ginger and honey and sesame oil. It's great on a salad or in an Asian noodle bowl. Tofu can be purchased in different levels of firmness, so my recipe would require a firm tofu, but silken or soft varieties can be blended into smoothies to boost its creaminess and protein content. Soybeans offer great benefits in terms of micronutrients, phytochemicals, and that you won't find in animal products. As results, diets high in soy protein have been linked to lower serum, serum levels of lipids, such as LDL cholesterol and triglycerides. Because of this, the FDA has accepted the health claim that soy proteins can reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. There is also evidence that soy proteins are associated with lower risks of cancer, obesity, type 2 diabetes, and immune diseases. Another great source of plant-based proteins are dried beans and pulses. A one half cup serving of cooked beans provides seven to eight grams of protein. Dried beans and pulses are high in resistant starches and soluble fiber, which are so important in gastrointestinal health. Clinical research suggests that people who consume dried beans regularly have a lower risk of developing type two diabetes. Beans are an affordable source of high quality protein and can be purchased dried or canned. Dried beans do require some planning and preparation, which usually involves being soaked for several hours before cooking. For those who don't have the time or forethought to prepare dried beans, canned beans are a quick and nutritious alternative. You need to keep an eye on the sodium content in canned beans, however, and seek out low sodium options. Let's take a look at a couple of the labels of garbanzo beans, which are otherwise known as chickpeas. This can, of beans has 320 milligrams of sodium per serving. That's 14% of the daily allowance and is pretty high for half a cup of food. Alternatively, Kroger's Simple Truth Organic brand has only 130 milligrams of sodium or 5% of your daily sodium, which is a healthier option. If you have a hard time finding low sodium versions, try rinsing canned beans in a colander under running water for about 30 seconds, which will remove about half of the sodium. I love garbanzo beans for their flavor and versatility. I also often add them to chili, curries, and salads to up its fiber and protein content. They are the main ingredient in hummus, which I also make at home too. One last plant-based protein I want to address is quinoa. Nutritionally, quinoa is a whole grain, a complete protein, and is a good source of fiber and B vitamins. A micro, on a micronutrient level, quinoa is a powerhouse, offering an abundance of many vitamins and minerals, and it's gluten-free. Quinoa is usually purchased dried and cooked at home similar to rice. In recipes, it's as versatile too, and it's a great substitution for many of the rice dishes. Since it's gluten-free, it's become a common ingredient in gluten-free products such as bread and pasta. If you're in a rush, there are pre-cooked products available in the grocery store, often mixed with brown rice. It's a great side dish for dinner. You can add quinoa to a lettuce salad, or you can eat it hot at breakfast with some milk and honey. Protein is an essential component of the human diet and can be derived from both plants and animals. The plant proteins discussed today offer a healthy alternative to meat and dairy. The benefits of plant proteins are the absence of saturated fat and the nutritional contribution of many vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals, which have been found to decrease the risk of chronic diseases. If you want to live a vegan and vegetarian lifestyle, you can do that safely with the help of these plant-based proteins. If not, it's still a great idea to consider incorporating these plant proteins into your diet to capture some of their amazing health benefits.